Thus far, we know that ABS are structured securities backed by a pool of financial assets such as mortgages, auto loans or credit card loans. When we pool a number of ABS together as collateral, these securities are known as collateral debt obligations or CDOs. To be more specific, when the pool is made up of structured finance securities, they are known as structured finance CDOs. A structured finance CDO can even collateralize a number of CDOs, making a chain of CDOs that collateralize some other CDOs possible. In general, a CDO is used to collateralize a pool of any form of debt obligation. When the pool is made up of corporate and emerging market bonds, they're known as collateral bond obligations. CDOs backed by leveraged bank loans are collateralized loan obligations. And CDOs backed by a portfolio of credit default swaps for other structured securities are synthetic CDOs. Credit default swaps are derivatives whose value is inversely related to the credit quality of their underlying securities. Do refer to the course on derivatives to revise if needed. To create a CDO, a special purpose vehicle should be created such that the assets are bankruptcy remote from their original owners. The funds to purchase the collateral assets for a CDO are obtained from the issuance of debt obligations. CDOs usually issue three classes of bonds. Senior bonds, which have the highest credit ratings, mezzanine bonds with ratings lower than the senior bonds, and subordinated bonds, which are sometimes called the equity or residual tranche. It is called an equity tranche as it has characteristics more similar to those of equity investments than bond investments. A typical CDO structure is to issue a floating rate senior tranche that is 70 to 80% of the total issue and a smaller mezzanine tranche that pays a fixed rate of interest. So, for example, the par value of the senior bonds can be $70 million and the floating coupon rate is based on the LIBOR rate plus 80 basis points. The mezzanine bonds can be $20 million in par and pay a fixed rate of 5.8% coupons. The equity tranche can have $10 million in principle. Unlike ABS, where the main source of returns to the investors is the interest payments from the collateral pool, the returns to a CDO can come from more varied sources. CDOs have a collateral manager who executes trades in the securities in the collateral pool to earn a rate of return higher than the aggregate cost of the bond classes. For example, if the aggregate cost of the bond obligations is 4.7% and the return of the CDO for the period is 6.2%, the 4.7% goes to pay the bond obligations to the senior and mezzanine bondholders, and the excess 1.5% goes to the equity tranche holders and the CDO manager. If the CDO managers take 0.7%, the balance of 0.8% goes to an accrual account for the equity tranche. Note that this 0.8% is based off the total par value of the CDO. So the return to the tranche holders is actually 8%, as the equity tranche is only one-tenth of the total par value. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.